Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are actually going to do something that I've been requested for the longest time because I have not managed to finish it sooner, but here we are. I have finally finished my massive sketchbook and we're gonna go through it. So, first things first, if you haven't watched my channel before and you haven't seen this, this is a ill sketchbook. This is from before Christmas, so I believe this is a different paper. They might have fixed the new paper. I haven't tried the newest versions of the ill sketchbook yet. I still have to follow up on that. And I still want to get more of them because I... This is the only sketchbook that I've filled in years. I don't think I've ever filled a sketchbook and that says something about it. Um, the paper isn't like best for watercolor and stuff like that, but it, it's the size, it's the feel of it, it's just everything else around it is making me love it. So here we go, it's time to go through it. There is some sketches that I haven't filmed actually. Um, a lot of them were done on stream. Some of them I just did because it was fun and I was chilling. <laughs> and a lot of them are creature designs and stuff like that. Because if you've seen those videos, they're, they are mostly made in the sketchbook. So I have clearly not filled anything in here. Um, also, I haven't done a sketchbook tour in so long. I don't know how to do this. So excuse me if I don't know what to say. Um, there's nothing on this page because it was too glued in. I didn't want to do anything with that. First page is... Eva grown up. If you've read my book Grey Legs, she's actually a kid in that one and then somebody somebody decided to design her as a grown up and I was like yes! So I did fan art of her fan art and this is it. I'll put her picture here if you're curious. Also my camera is recognizing her face as a face and that's kind of cute. Anyway, I love this and I would actually like to draw more grown up Evas because that would be really cute. Um, so I started this sketchbook is in January. Well, at least this sketch. I didn't know that, that's really long ago. <laughs> did it take me almost a year to do this? Oh my gosh. Um, I did these ones as well. These are draw this in your styles, but I never actually posted this. So whoever owns this, surprise. I never, whatever, I didn't do that. I also didn't fill this page and I'm not going to because I feel weird about it. And then here is the first time I tried watercolor and that is with the creature design. You can go check that video out. It should be in a playlist somewhere with all the creature designs. But here is um, that page where I filled out the studies of the different animals and also the creature himself. And I actually, this page I love because I sketched all these extra little details and just made me happy. God, it's so long ago. This was in March, so this, the jump between the two was pretty big. Like I didn't actually start sketching in the sketchbook until I did the watercolor and I was like, oh, I can actually do watercolor in this book without it looking horrible. And that's where we're at. Um, here I was sketching, I think this is in a vlog. But yeah, I was gonna fill this whole page with just random things. <laughs> And then I sketched a sieve, kit, uh, grey legs, and honey, and a kettle cat. Ooh, just, just random stuff. I also didn't finish this page, but I don't want to finish it now because it's way too late. Don't want to do that. This is a study page that I did um, on stream, actually, and I still love this. I want to do more studies, and I think... What I was going to do on stream on Twitch was to do study Fridays where I would just study things and maybe I should just do that for my YouTube channel. Honestly, I love studying so maybe <laughs> maybe I should. Like I love this page. I think it's a really really cute spread so. Um, all these are from Pinterest I believe. I'll try finding the pictures if I still have them and I'll put them next to them um, if you're curious. This was supposed to be a draw this in your style. I didn't finish it as you can see. It was just, I went too crazy with the paint. The paper couldn't handle this much paint and it kind of went crazy. And this is a Fur Little Peaches illustration and I just didn't finish it. This is for you. This was uh, the end of March. So I've actually written the dates here. <laughs> uh, this page was done at a cafe where we were just doodling, we were sketching. And I decided to just bring a pen and just do line art. This is all freehand studies of lions because 
I need to learn how to draw more cats uh, because it's not cats. So that's what I did. I still love it. It's fun. This page you've seen before, if you've seen that one video with my alien, alien grumpy girl. Um, it was actually just sketched in pencil first and then I came in later with watercolor because I was bored. <laughs> and this is in the beginning of March, April, yes. I am really bad with numbers and months and all that, so I have to like count on my hand. <laughs> also another video. It seems like I've done a lot of videos, haven't I? Um, you can see this on my channel as well. This is made with cheap paint and it's actually, it still looks good. Like this doesn't look like it's made with chalky paints, does it? Uh, but yeah, I still love this one. It's quite, quite cute. Uh, this page is with Sprouts, uh, her, her story. This is the first like sketches or ideas written whatever uh, of that little story that is a little comic that I did and this is just me like really going through like what I wanted with the story and like a um, just going with like what's it called spreadsheet well a spreadsheet <laughs> uh, when you start thinking and you find like links to that thinking and all of that anyway I think I thought it was cute Another creature design. We have our, what's this called? A Crustacean Phoenix. That's what we called him. And I still love this. I think the, my favorite spreads are the one with the creature designs because you have the creature on, the creatures on that side and you have the creature on that side and it just makes me happy. This page I don't think I posted anywhere because it's a bit more, I don't know, darker than my usual style, but I still love it. I think. This is when I realized I really like pencil, that pencil that you know that I've used so much, the 6, 8B, 6B, 8B, whatever. And this was made at the end of April. I still love this one. This one's really fun. This one's the same. I think I sketched it the last, the same, the same evening. I just wanted to do something for myself and I did this, this witch, witchy lad, girl. I don't know, both? <laughs> Anyway, it's a cute one. I still like this a lot. I just I just had a lot of fun. I think I don't do this enough. I don't sit down and just do my own sketching. Um, so I really should do, do more of that. And the beginning of Mermaid! <laughs> this is the sketching session thing that I did with uh, Drawing with Waffles, Rin. And uh, yeah, this was really fun. This is when I designed him and this is in his final form. And then I drew her mermaid, and that was really fun. Oh, I love that collab. <laughs> so much fun. And then the official start of Mermaid. The official sketch. I love this still. This is the cover of my mermaid book, and it actually is the same color here as it is on the printed version, and I love it. Um, and I've actually printed it in the same order as this. So this is 1st of May. Um, I did stream all of this, I think. Um, no videos, well, a few videos actually, but mostly streams. And I, yeah. And I put in all of these because I used some color pencil here and there and to keep them from smudging to each other, because that happened once. I put in, um, this is called tracing paper. So it's like see-through. So you can still see the drawing, but I just put in. This is also why the book is so bul bulky. <laughs> This is my octopus girl and my goblin girl. This is gouache. I love this. This is such a deep red. You can see it on camera. The camera will just go woof <laughs> because it's so punchy, punchy, punchy. I still love her. Like I was, I didn't like her in the moment, but then I have just grown to love her. Also, you can see on this, I don't know if you can see it, but it's actually tainted with the gouache. Oh, I should do another one of these um, monthly challenges. It's weird because I love the mermaid challenge. I had so much fun with it. Probably because I was streaming. I'm not gonna lie. I think it's because I was streaming. But Inktober didn't work that way. I think it's because I didn't take it too seriously. I wasn't too in into it. <laughs> um, we have our Arowana guy that you know from the video that I did on this channel. He's still cute. I still love this spread. Probably one of my favorite ones. Then we have all, uh, our Walrus guy. We have our turtle shell lady. 
Um, I love this. I love all of these. I don't know. It's it's weird loving your own drawings, but I think I love things when I finish it and then I go back to it and I'm like, oh, I, I remember doing all of this and it's really fun. Uh, oh god, I don't know if I can... See, all of this is from just like things rubbing against the pages is really bad. Uh, what's the name of the fish? God, if you find the prompt list um, that that's that's what it is. I think it says this prompt list actually. Uh, lionfish and a blue marlin, I think. This one, this page was where it started really rubbing, and I was like, oh god, okay. That's when I put in these safeguards, and it's still very very dirty, but I can't really do anything about it. I think it's because I used a blue colored pencil here, and it just went everywhere. Um, yep, yep, sunfish, moonfish, sunfish, I think it's a sunfish, don't remember what that is, but it's there. Uh, my orcas, I love this one, they're so cute, little baby orca. And then in the middle of this we have a random creature design, as always, <laughs> uh, and this one's really cute too. As I said, I love when I have these spreads, because you have the animals and you have the creature, and I, I love having it in one book. And all the colors, because of the watercolor and colored pencils. I never had a sketchbook like this. Like, this sketchbook is so finished, because I did a lot of finished pieces in it. Um, which I never really do. Like, I've never done that, and I would never really do it, because it would make me nervous about, like, messing up. But somehow it just worked out. I think it's just a sketchbook. I don't want to put all the um, credit to the sketchbook, but I think it's just, it's a size that works for me. And I feel like I can move around and I can actually do things. I don't know, I love it. This one's cute. See through little weird jellyfish girl. We have our giant blue whale. He's big, you see the little diver. It's really, it's really, really big. Well, I could make him bigger, but you know. Gotta be able to draw that. <laughs> uh, we have our sea slug girl. It's called a sheep sea slug. And then we have a frog. I remember I wasn't too happy about- I was happy about the colors, but I wasn't too happy about the design, but then I, I ended up loving it and it's just weird. <laughs> We have our seal and we have coral. Coral was the most abstract one that I did because it's coral. <laughs> Oops. Um, but yeah, a lot of people love this one just because of just the visual of it. Uh, God, can't remember what that's called, that fish, but we have a clownfish. This one could be done better, this one, but. I think in the final book she looks better because I, I rescaled her a bit on the page. If I'm talking about a book, it's a sketchbook. Uh, it's going to be in stock again in November, so keep your eyes out for that. Dolphin, I love her. I love dolphins in general. And then a betta fish. The funny thing is, if you'd scaled him down to the original size of a betta fish and put it next to her, it would actually be like, like that big. I didn't put in any safeguard on this page. I guess I don't- oh my, I did- mm, weird. My favorite girl! My whale shark, I love her. I love her. I love her. Have I said I enough? I love her. I want her on a, a t-shirt. <laughs> or a mug. <gasps> a wraparound mug. Yes. I have so many mug designs that I haven't even uploaded to Redbubble. Like, I have it planned, I have it like half uploaded, but I haven't uploaded it. Why am I so silly? I just have to do it. Uh, this is probably my absolute favorite. I love her. Just because I love her. I think she's just so, such a strong... <laughs> it's just such a weird mermaid, but I love it. And then we have our moray eel, which I also like. I love these two. They fit really well together, but I love her design. I think it just works really well and like I get, got to do lots of muscles and wide shoulders and stuff. It's just... I based her off me, okay? <laughs> That's probably why. And then we have two last ones in Mermaid and that is... Oh, my voice. Um, oh my god, Anglerfish and a... Oh, Dumbo Octopus, yes. 
And these work well as well uh, because people were saying it's like Hansel and Gretel and I thought, yes, that is true. That is very much Hansel and Gretel. And then I was going to, because I'm crazy, do Unicorn, which is you draw unicorns every day in June. I did do a creature design unicorn, uh, but I, I didn't finish Unicorn because I had other things to do and I couldn't focus on that. Um, but that's okay. But I did a few. I did a goat unicorn, I did a Kirin. I think the reason I didn't finish Unicorn was because I didn't have a prompt list. Like there wasn't a specific one to do every day. Um, I just did random ones that I was interested in. So here we are. Kirin is probably one of my favorite ones. I don't know if you can see, but it has like shimmer on that. Oh yeah, you can kind of see it. Yeah, it's gold and silver and just a little bit of everything on him. I think I put silver on this one too. I can't really see it though. And then we have our... I love this one still. We called her Alina and she has silver. I think I put silver and gold on all these guys. <laughs> love her because she's a centaur and I love centaurs. And then I drew Sleipner, which is probably one of my favorite ones. I really want to make a print of him and actually put silver on him as well. You can see the silver, there you go. Um, Sleipner is Odin's eight-legged horse. Uh, and he's also, fun fact, Loki's son. So keep that in mind. Also, Fenris is also Loki's son. And also the, the worm that wraps around the earth is also Loki's son. Loki has been up to some weird, weird stuff, okay? It's very interesting. <laughs> then I did a ice and fire unicorn set. So this is ice and it's actually based on the unicorn design that I did years ago. And then uh, fire. I, I love this because it was really fun to do the stripes. God, I love you. I, uh, I wish I'd finished Unicorn. It would have been such a cool book. Did a cow unicorn? It's cute though. It's pretty. I like him. And then this uh, you guys have seen. If you've seen my Illo sketchbook test, I did this drawing in both the... This is the old sketchbook and then the new sketchbook. And the new sketchbook just behaved differently. But as I said, I haven't tried the newest version of the Illo sketchbook, which apparently has become better again so I'm going to order that or ask for a copy so that I can try. Anyway, that's that one. This one's probably my favorite unicorn. Uh, it's a... oh, what's it called? Oh, it's a Pegasus unicorn, but it's a crane, is it? But I love putting the red here because usually they have like a, a red spot on the forehead. And I, I just made that the horn and I just I just love it. I, and also wings on any sort of horse or anything, I just love. So this is probably one of my favorite ones. Really. Then we have Kit and Sue. I think this is the point where I stopped doing uh, Unicorn. And this one's in the video as well. I think most things are in the video, except for like most of the mermaid stuff, I guess. These two, uh, ooh, another unicorn, wow. This is for the creature card. She's so faint. In the final art for the card, it's so... It pops so much because I painted so much over it. Uh, but in this sketchbook, it's just like a ghost. Then we have iced tea uh, for my patron postcard. Was I actually planning on doing a room? <laughs> wow, that would have been effort. But yeah, still love this one. Looked really good on the card as well. Except for printing greens is my life problem. I hate it. It's so hard. Then we have Reed. I need to draw more of Reed. If you don't know, I've actually kind of trying to develop a story for her. I really want to do like a comic or a short novel comic kind of thing. And I have a nemesis kind of evil person. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you're not on Patreon, but I've been like rambling about this on Patreon a lot. <laughs> I love this one, so. Then we have another creature card, a redraw of Pond, which actually I did not end up using. I ended up with the old art that I fixed and kind of merged them together because I didn't like this one in the end. And that's okay, I tried. I tried redesigning something that was I already really liked and that was the problem, I think. This is the sketches for uh, a postcard. 
the Tam Tam the Pathfinder postcard. Oh, I actually love that one. Why didn't I use that? I used this one, I think, with the, with the lake on it. No, that one. Yep. That, that turned out real cute. Um, it's not here. I think it is somewhere else. It's, it's a separate piece of paper. And then we have a dragonfly fairy, which I did randomly. Now that I look at it, I'm like, this is kind of strange because her face is kind of strange. I was, just, I was just having fun doodling. I wasn't really meaning to make anything Instagrammable or anything. I just had fun. And, and she takes up a whole spread, so that helped me as well. <laughs> then we have our grumpy girl, but I did her on a separate piece of paper. But I did the sketches in here because I love sketches and I like keeping them. I didn't fill out that page, that's annoying, but that's okay. I won't, I won't kick myself over not filling up pages because I, I feel weird about going back and filling them up, you know? Then we have another creature card, one of my favorites. Uh, I don't remember what I called him in the end, but he's cute. Another creature design. It's clear that I had this was a month between the two, and I didn't use the sketchbook between the that. So that's interesting, isn't it? Glowworm. I call him my glowworm because he he glows and is cute. Glowworm. Uh, oh, this is a this is more read sketches. I don't think I've shown this anywhere. That's the nemesis person, and I did some more just uh, expressions and stuff just for fun, just very rough ones. Uh, because I like expressions and I like read. Then I did the sketches for the Selkie video. We're nearing the end now, as you can see. And then I also did some random uh, freehand ink drawings before Inktober because I was kind of practicing and kind of, I don't know, feeling my way through if I wanted to do it or not. Uh, and of course not, I did not end up doing it, but oh well. And uh, yeah, I, I still, I find this really f relaxing and fun. And if I'm in the mood for it, it's just the perfect way to fill up a sketch page. This is what happened after that, and I love this one. And it's actually the Patreon print for October. I think it's already over by the time you see this video, but um, yeah, this is the, the print. And I love this. <laughs> it was so much fun. This is freehand. There's no sketch under it. I just started on one page and then it moved over to the other side. And it was just... It just turned out real nice and that ended up being the Patreon postcard as well. And it's something that I'm very happy about because it's actually a piece that I had so much fun with. It was made in the dark on my couch while watching some sort of stream, I think. Next page. Uh, this is actually the, the time, the week I did not fill up a wolf well, post anything. I've actually filmed all of this, but I think I'm gonna end up making that a Patreon-only video. Uh, I did the blob challenge, which is where you put just a blob down and then you uh, draw a creature. Well, I drew creatures and it was it was fun. Um, I, I have it filmed, I don't know what I'll do with it, but I'll do something. And then on this page, I was just having fun with pencil and I drew an old character of mine called Reb Rebus, Rebus, Rebus and two fairy people, because that's creepy and fun. Uh, yeah, I just, I really like these two. I haven't looked at them since I did it. I should do more like soft sketching like that, because I, I, I like it. Um, and you can see like my styles change a lot, depending on what I do. It's kind of strange, but I think when I'm relaxing and kind of in a down mood, I like to sketch creepier things like that and then if I'm trying to be fun and happy this is what I'm trying to do anyway blob challenges are f more fun doing like that so anyway then we have our creepy crawler night crawler uh um, creeper creature <laughs> god words I love him uh he turned out amazing in his card as well I'm so excited to print that I haven't done it yet as we speak right now this was supposed to be an Inktober video, did not end up doing it, kind of failed at it. I failed at a few videos this month, <laughs> uh, but I was thinking about doing a uh, cat and metal. There were two of my characters that I want to do a, a webcomic for in the future, but I wanted to do an ink drawing and I just couldn't do it. It wasn't, it was too ambitious for my mood last week, I think. And. This is a test I did for the test video. <laughs> test, test. 
and this is more tests for gouache just to make sure that they looked okay when they dried and that is it so that is it let's see if i have anything here i do not that is it that is my whole sketchbook but it's so bulky look at this look how <laughs> It's such an interesting sketchbook like I didn't want to bring it with me at the end because it just had so many drawings that I love and I didn't want to ruin it or lose it or like I was gonna travel to Norway and I was like do I bring this sketchbook and I was like no I did not bring this sketchbook and I'm very happy I didn't because I would have um, wouldn't have been scared if I if I did so anyway I love looking through this it's really fun a lot of people have looked at so looked through it in person when they met me at conventions and stuff and I think I'm gonna bring it to Thought Bubble that I'm going to next weekend. Um, it is a comic convention close to York. It's called Har in Harrogate, I think. So go to Thought Bubble convention if you want to go meet me. Uh, if you live close to London or whatever, and I'll bring the sketchbook so you can look through it yourself if you're curious. Because I love letting people look through my sketchbook. I think it's really really fun. Um, so yeah, do that if you want to meet me and say hi. And I think that is it for this video. Uh, I'm really happy I finally, finally got to film this. I haven't filmed a sketchbook tour in so long and I'm happy that I, I finally did. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you have a lovely weekend and hang out with friends and do some sketching and just do whatever you want. And congratulations on finishing Inktober if you did. Happy everything. I'll see you next week. Bye bye.